Hello everyone, this is Luke from Luke'sLegos.com. I just got back from my trip to the Lego store and got one of the mix and match buckets. Uh, if you've seen my other video that I have for the, the cups, you can go to the Lego store and they have a bunch of drawers along the back wall and you can get individual pieces or as many of the same piece as you want. And you and can get guys. Mini figures and the mini figure drawers. So this is my cup that I just got. You can check out the videos and the other cups that I have as well. Um, so this one, the Lego store, they didn't have the junk drawer that I had had at the King of Prussia mall, but I said something about that to the guy and he brought out the big bin of the what would be the junk drawer at this Lego store because they didn't have one. So I used a combination of the, the junk bucket to get some different things and then also the drawers to get some other things. So this is going to be my unboxing of the Lego cup. So here's the cup. You can see I got it pre-packed. I got a lot of small pieces this time. Uh, and then you can see some minifigures in there. So we'll, we'll go about that. I like to try and get something inside of the top. So in this bucket, we got these double-sided clasper pieces with the two, two pegs on them. And you can use those with any type of clip piece to make some sort of hinging action. So you can use a couple of these in, in a row and make like a bridge or some sort of rope, rope feature to make like a squiggly snake. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to dump this thing out and we'll go through it. Ready, Luke? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, man. All right. These are a lot of tile pieces. Whoa, look at that. Yep. White thing. All right, we'll talk about all that. So I got to cut two platforms in the junk bucket. The junk bucket, they had these two platforms. I picked up these real quick and stuffed them right down in the middle and then put everything around there. Oh. You all right, Luke? Uh-huh. Okay. So, I found this while I was in the, going through the junk bucket. It's just got a couple of those double-sided oh, uh, hinge pieces. That. And and they have the double-hooked claspers for those. And this is just a little... Oh, this is just a little contraption some other kid made. I picked that up. There you go, Luke. All right. So found a couple of minifigures. I was going through the junk drawer, and I was like, hey, there's minifigures in here. And he said, yeah, go ahead. So I threw that one in there. He's got the little stubby legs. Looks like a tennis player with a polo shirt or something. And then I got this guy. He looks like the body of um, Ninjago. It's kind of that robotic Ninjago and then the face of their sensei. But I think that's a Ninjago body with the sensei face. What else? I found a dress. So that could be for a girl. Looks like a kimono dress, something like that. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm a little sick right now, so you just got to bear with me on the voice. Here I found an Egyptian chess piece. That could be like for like a pharaoh or something like that. And then the little smug face on that guy. And then I noticed a lot of the minifig bodies that they had in the in that uh, bucket, they were missing their hands. So I think they take their hands off so that uh, they can throw them in the junk thing because kids are ripping the hands off. The guy said that this junk bucket was a combination of what's fell on the floor over the years and what the kids have terrorized. So those are some of the minifigs. I think there's a few more. Yeah, I picked up a couple of bodies here. This just looks like a ninja body maybe. Missing arm and hands. So the key thing to this bucket that I got was these one pegs with the four sides these things are crucial for any type of constructions that I like to do. You can do use these a lot in mech bodies and things of that nature. 
but I really love these pieces because you can connect a lot of things with those. So you're gonna see those littered throughout. Any of the black is mostly those, uh, the four-sided pegs. So I'm super excited about getting that many of those. So I found a whip, or a lasso, rather. And that's a flexible lasso, so that'll be cool. I got a couple of horses that Luke can round up the horses with. What else we got in here? These are some base plates of some sort. Uh, the guy said that they might have been for like the roller coaster. I don't really know what these are for because they have like a weird inside. It's actually like a three peg and the, most of the Technic bars are four peg or like a cross feature. But this has a three sided peg it looks like. So I need to figure out how to use these. So I got a couple of those. Oh, I got two of these. I found these in that buck, the barrel. They're cool. They'll be going in my weapons room. I'm sure Luke will probably play with them. Cool weapons. I think also from like the Ninjago type of series. Uh, what else we got here? A couple of flat pieces. So there's a lot of the 2x2 two two, uh, construction orange flats. I use those for walkways in the lab. Uh, you can check me out. Check my website out. You can see the lab. Got a lot of walkways going down with the smooth pieces. And then they had some featured pieces, which is this one. And where are they? Oh, here. They have these ball hinges. These are really loose, so I don't see them really as like the mixels type of thing. But they're definitely cool for any type of creating a trailer or any uh, Lego City car that needs some sort of hitch or a truck that might need a hitch. So, and they have very limited mobility on the up and down but they go side to side pretty good. So they're really cool. I got a bunch of those. And then I got 12 wheels and six axles. So I got a couple extra wheels this time. And then like Luke pointed out already, I got a, two tennis rackets. So I thought they were pretty fun when I saw those. I had to scoop those up. This time I got some chairs also. Cause uh, in the lab, in the office, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the office part of the lab Always am needing chairs for my desks and things. And then that'll also help out in the lab itself. Got a cool um, torch holder. Got that. And then I found these really, these remind me of a bunch of old school Legos with the bright yellow translucent. They're just uh, one by one, the slopes. They're two thirds of a, a brick at the peak. So I found a couple of those, I thought they were pretty cool. Um, reminded me of the old days with the bright yellow translucents. That's what they used to use for the space stuff that I was into. Here's another tennis racket. There you go, Luke. And then I also had out of the drawers uh, these one by two sidewalls. These are good if you're building race cars or any sort of spaceship where you need the minifigures arms to go alongside so they can fit down in. So they're really good for any sort of uh, needing to set a minifigure into something as a seat. And then the Ninjago Master, he had his hat. So these are cool. Uh, Asian style hat. A couple of lamp holders. And then what else? There's a couple things I wanted to show you. Oh, I found a couple of binoculars. I love binoculars. They're really versatile for droids, like mini droids. And they're also um, versatile for anything to do with uh, like electronics and robotics and things. So I'll show you how they're versatile. I used to make mini droids with um, these clasper pieces as the legs. And then, I would, oh, and then I would use a one by one cone to make a nose. And then um, some sort of rocket like fire pack for a propulsion system out of the back. I don't know if I have any one by one cones, so I will just put a black slope piece on here as the nose. And you can make like a mini droid. And these like to zoom around. I used to have a bunch of these that could fly around the lab and uh, were part of my droid, um, my droid yeah. tech center. So I found a couple of the Harry Potter series keys. I remember this from the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Apprentice when they had to go through and get all the keys that were flying around. So they had this in one of the Harry Potter sets. 
but cool keys they can go into my uh, treasure room there was a couple of those keys that I got I found a couple of hats so here's like an old style confederate hat and then I also found a ball cap I think it was a red ball cap yeah here we go found a red ball cap so any type of hat is good for the hat and weapons room I found a helmet uh, an evil helmet reminds me of the uh, helmet I have for the hor the horse chariot not the horse chariot the stagecoach set that I just posted up recently that's his helmet so love them armor love them weapons oh here I found a little baby dog bone Ooh. see that Luke oh yeah got a little dog bone hmm. <laughs> so that's fun and then in one of the drawers this time they had the one by two white grills those are really good for my computer area in the lab to help with the floor they had a drawer of these uh, teeth they're cool for if you're making like a big face you can do a bunch of chompers along the bottom and top of the mouth so they're cool what else do you see in here Luke you want to show them Found a lightsaber yeah. blade. Yeah, I talked about the wheels already. There's there's a lightsaber blade. I have a bunch of lightsaber handles, but I don't have enough of these blades, so I grabbed that this time. And then a bunch of these. So these are really good for if you're making a bed. Uh, if you check out my video for the White House of my own creation, these I like to use as like pillows for the bed. So you do your smooth pieces for the bed and you kind of have these mounted up as pillows. So that's what I like to use them for. I got a couple of those in different colors. Got a steering wheel, black steering wheel. Alright, and a couple of other things. I found this shorter black. It reminds me of a lightsaber blade, but it's like shorter and it's a solid black. So I'm not going to use it as a lightsaber blade. Maybe I could put it in a lightsaber handle and use it like a police baton. If I want to have a police officer around the city. And then a couple, here's a body with no arms. See, this is the kind of stuff that was in the, um, the junk bin. But this has the Octane insignia on it with the Lego piece on the, other on the other side of the chest. And then I don't know what that other symbol is on the other side. So that's why I got that. Throw some arms on there and get a minifigure. I found a hinge, got a whole bunch of these hinges. The Minecraft spider in the cave set uses these as the leg to help with the legs. So you can do uh, a lot of mobility functions with these. And then I got some, a clear one by two. On the one video I did, or the one bucket that I got, a bunch of these. These help out if I'm doing any like sort of windows or anything like that on the one train that I just made that I'm using these as like the windows so you can set those up as windows and then oh and then there we go found three hatchets in that junk bin so along with these pole axes or the spears rather and these hatchets these are pretty cool additions for my weapons room in the lab there are some binoculars oh I found a witch's hat I got an old old witch set I haven't done a video on it yet but I'm gonna have to now of a witch set with a dragon so that's a cool witch's hat and then the Harry Potter keys so a lot of good little things and then a lot of good bulk things that I got in regards to the chairs and the one by one with the four pegs so super excited about this bucket a lot of good things in it and then the final thing I'll mention is on the drawer wall they had these colored uh, one by one uh, blocks and then these flats these were like the featured yeah. items so I don't know why these are the featured item if that's something that's going on right now you can leave a comment if you know but this was a, the featured item on the drawer wall this time 
All right, so all this is gonna go into the man cave and we'll add this to the Lego collection. You guys can check me out online, www.lukeslegos.com. You can see what I'm talking about when I say the lab and whatnot and uh, check a little bit more about my collection and what we're all about. So subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and we'll see you guys next time.